Hello, Explained Lovers. This will be a short demonstration and introduction to XPWeb. So what is XPWeb? XPWeb is a RESTful interface based on fast API for XPlay that allows you to take control of XPlay from pretty much anything and anywhere. RESTful API technology enables you easy communication between computers or everything or each node over internet or better to say over network. In our case, XPWeb uses it to connect with the XPlay flight simulator, allowing for operations like modifying data ref, getting data ref, setting data ref, or sending commands directly from your browser or your application or from any services, either on your computer or from any other computer that has network connection to the XPlay. Let's look at this diagram to better understand how XPWeb connects everything together. There are different programs you might use like apps on your phone or using a website or a web application or a React or Flutter application, anything that is able to create a REST API communication, which pretty much means everything that you might imagine. These external apps can talk to XPLAY with the XPWeb interface. The main part of the setup, XPWeb, takes a request from the external application and talks to the XPLAY in a way it understands. So what is in a way it understands? It's used XPLAY Connect, which is developed by NASA and is very well known between all XPLAY lovers. XPLAY Connect makes communicating with XPLAY much more easier through UDP. So our XPWeb get the API get the commands from your application, whether it's a web application or maybe just an application on your computer, then talks to explain connect and then explain connects talks to explain. So just a several interface layer, but it's uh, reliable, quick, and very easy to use. By using XPWeb, you can send commands to control the simulator or get and change the settings in XPLAY with the simple commands from any app. This makes it much easier than dealing with complicated UDP packets, checking the data packets, checking the headers, sending data packets, and so on. So it will make the world easier for you to focus on your application instead of focusing on the communication challenges and data handling. Okay, now that we know what is XPWeb, let's review the steps so you can write it on your own system. There's a very good documentation in GitHub repository, so make sure you read all the documentation and steps here. First step is to download Explain Connect, which is developed by NASA. Go ahead to the official repository of Explain Connect and navigate to the release section. Download the latest version here. Download this Explain Connect.zip. By the way, you might already have this Explain Connect, Explain Connect on your computer right now, but if you don't, Go ahead and download it, extract, and make sure you copy this explain connect folder, which has several binaries inside that. Then navigate to your explain installation folder, go to resources, plugins, and paste the explain connect folder here. And that's it. Now explain connect is installed. Next step is to make sure your explain version is supported, which almost all the version is supported by explain connect. Then you have two options. You can use the binary re release version of XPWeb or just build it by yourself. Let's first uh, use the easiest way, which is download the binary. Right now, the Windows only uh, available here, but I will put the uh, Linux and Mac OS version soon. Download the XPWeb binary, extract it, and then just simply open the main.exe file. Uh, for the first time, your firewall or some other security measurement might ask you some uh, verification that you're going to allow this XPWeb to work on your network. Then you can uh, use the fast API default documentation, which is the URL here is a local host. The port default is 7712 and docs. Here you can see the default documentation of the fast API. Now let's go ahead and run uh, as just an example Cessna Skyhawk in an XPLAY and test it. You can use the fast API demo fast API documentation or use the XP web demo. Let's first use the fast API demo. You can see we have three different URI. We can either get data ref, either getting single data ref or multiple data ref. There are some examples and documentation here. For example, let's select one of the data ref, which is an array. 
just request the data ref and here we go we get the data back same as this we can send data ref for example um, let's send the data ref maybe about the zulu time which controls the time of the experiment the time of the simulator again you can send only one data ref or several data ref at once let's select only same time zulu time select it and try it out the data ref name which is a string would be the data ref name and the value would be something in the seconds let's put the change and here it is now the time of the simulator is changed the last uh, uri is a command we can send a command you can you can find all the data ref and commands in data ref tools or the documentation of the experience so i expect you already know the data ref and commands here it is we pause toggle and the toggle has changed the simulator is paused and then regain but the easiest way is to use the xp web api demo this is the demo as you can see that just go to the demo folder open the index.html demo file and here it is you can ask for a data ref for example fuel quantity left you can see the json format or the raw format we can also ask for several data ref at once here we requested for fuel quantity on left and right same technique you can set data ref you can send command everything is very intuitive we just want to give you some feeling of or idea what you can do here we are sending the commands manually but you can send it through your own application through your own mobile application android application ios application web app or any other application that you have this is just a demo to give you an idea of how it works okay here we just use the binary version of the xp web but i encourage you just for learning more go ahead and download it uh, clone it from the github and run it from your own you can go ahead and put all these commands in your command line or go ahead and use vs code let's open vs code and clone the github repository we paste the clone uh, repo url let's create a new folder in sources a new folder maybe call it test and we select and right now vs code is downloading and cloning the github repository next step is to make sure the sub modules are updated so go ahead and download uh, get the git sub module update dash dash init dash dash recursive i forgot to put the update here we put git sub module update dash dash init dash dash recursive this will go ahead and clone the explain connect so we can use this library as well next step is to run the main.py file you can run it globally using your global python just go ahead and click run uh, but before that you need to install the requirements so use the pip install dash r requirements but uh, again i recommend you for more education go ahead and create a virtual environment create a virtual environment using v e n v select the python version and select the requirements file and it will go ahead and download all the requirements and configuration and it will be all separated from your python version on your system it's a safer way more safe and more robust so you get all the requirements separate from all other python libraries and then go ahead and run your python file that's it now fast api server is running and everything is the same we can go ahead and use the fast api documentation page or we can use the default uh, xp web demo page as we used before okay that's it guys thanks for watching if you found it helpful please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on this explain stuff tutorial that i'm gonna create in the future if you face with any issue or you have any recommendation feel free to put it in the comment section or contact me directly fly high and code freely with xp web